Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the CUAV VMR32 receiver. This is an OTG receiver. I've already reviewed this one in the last video. In the next video I'm going to review this one which is the mid-range priced and this is the most expensive one which cost almost $50. With the product we're getting the receiver. It feels more luxurious than the other ones. This one also has an LCD screen. We're also getting a cloverleaf antenna. It's an RP SMA antenna. Micro USB OTG cable. And we're getting also these two stickers. And we're getting also this cable. This connector allows you to connect it directly to a power source and also to a video out. It's a bit hard to read. I will show you. This is here the ground then DC in, ground, AV, ground and audio. It supports between three cells to six cells LiPo batteries. I'm not going to use this connector in my review. So let's plug it to the phone and see how it works. Again, as I said earlier in my previous videos, uh, you need the same drivers for all these three devices. On the top left, we have the DC indicator. Right now there is no DC connected. 5 volt USB is connected via this cable and this is on the left the strength indicator and this is the channel you have up to 32 channels I'm going to connect the TXO2 camera and show you how it performs this receiver supports 32 channels you can either cho choose the channel manually or you can either press this button long press it then it will start auto scan it, it will find the best signal. And it found it, it's F75860. The picture quality is very good. I'm not sure if it's better than the other pictures, we'll have to compare it in the DVR. Like all the other devices, you have an option to record a video. After you press it, it will be saved to the media gallery of your device. You can change the picture size and you can also choose between split screen if you want to use it with uh, VR goggles or single screen. One more thing, this device also supports PC computers so you can connect the USB cable to a computer, download the software and it will allow you to use it also with the computer so it maybe it has advantages. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if these two can support computers or not, but this one clearly indicates that it supports PCs, so it's something you should consider. By the way, it also comes with a cloverleaf antenna versus this one comes with cheaper ones, so it also saves you a few bucks. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to perform a latency test. Just to remind you, this receiver got a delay of about 51 milliseconds, which was pretty surprising. Let's see how this one performs. So I'm about to pause the video and you can see the delay we got here is also about 51 milliseconds. It was actually between 48 to 51 milliseconds. So that's good. This one performed well as well. It scored about between 48 to 52 milliseconds of latency as well, which was again pretty impressive. And I'm going to test, test in the next video how this one performs because I don't think the last test I did with this one was fair. And the real test is going to be outdoors where I'm going to take these three receivers outside and see which one performs better. Is it worth $19 more than this one? I'm not sure yet. We'll see, need to see how it performs outdoors. But it does give you uh, an LCD screen, this connector which enables you to connect it to an external battery. It feels better and it also comes with a cloverleaf antenna. So these are the main advantages that I've encountered so far. And in the next video I'm going to test the latency of this product and then take it outdoors. Again if you have any questions and you have any requests for the outdoors test feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I will do my best to perform it. So thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.